Welcome to Anfield. No, not that one. Liverpool play about 15 minutes in that direction. But this is the Anfield Sport and Community Centre. Many sports are played here, including futsal and netball. But most importantly, it is the home of Lower Breck Football Club. Founded only nine years ago in 2010, Lower Breck Football Club are one of the fastest rising teams in the Merseyside and Cheshire area. Today they take on Holker Old Boys, where they are top of the league and look to regain that position. But where did this start and how did they get to this position? Give us a brief history of the club. Um, well, the club has been going for about, I think we're coming into the 11th season. Um, manager Gary Moore started the club as a youth side, worked their way up through the ranks, played in a few of the local youth leagues with a, a variety of success. Then went into, I think it was the West Cheshire, um, then into the Liverpool County Premier League. Consecutive promotions through the years, winning basically everything that they could. Um, Gary was always interested in, um, I think he always had his sights on the North West Counties whenever I spoke to him. I was involved in another football team at the time, but I was involved in writing for the Liverpool Echo, so I had contact with him. Um, they were on the radar, you could see that they were an up and coming club, you could see that he had ambition. Um, and in a very, very short space of time, and you know, they took the step up after winning um, everything that was on offer in the County Premier League. They won a four-timer, um, every single trophy. And obviously they decided to take the step up to the North West Counties, which we're in the second season now, top of the table. Things are looking good, you know. See, the facilities are the best here, but what can you ask for? It's normally football, pints, pies and pastry is all you want, and some great football to watch. After the fantastic victory, we caught up with club secretary Jim Davis and first team coach Anthony Sully Sullivan to dive into the history of this great, unique club. So I'm a um, first team coach, just making sure that you know the things that we're doing in training, we can take out into the games, yeah. um, ensuring that for us, you know, we're prepared properly for, for for some tough games that we've that we've got ahead. You know, league the league's quite a tough league, and it's something we want to achieve something by getting out of the league this season so it's important that we prepare right on and off the pitch. Yeah. Obviously this club's quite newly found, quite a new club. Uh, what do you think makes it so special? To What do you think attracts fans to it? 
You know, we're a community. You know, we're based in a in a, in a community that's that's you know very deprived. Mm-hmm. You know, th- there's a lot of there's a lot of opportunity out there f- for us to give something back to the local community. So it's something that we want to try and do. We want to give this area something or something to be proud of. You know, there's lots and lots of fantastic initiatives going on in this local community, and I don't think I don't think it's it's noticed enough. You know, in the grand grand scheme of things, in the city, and you know, there's some wonderful people in this community, and there's you know, there's th- th- this sense is absolutely fantastic. It's been so supportive. You know, but again, we're not we're not a club who've, who've got tons and tons of cash, but we've known splash it around. So, you know, we've we've got limited resources, but we use them really, really well. Um, and, and the community, the local community, and th- th- this building in, in particular, where support us and everything that we can do. So, it's important that we try and give something back. Mm. What is it that you think makes this club so special? I think the group of players as well that they've got at the moment, you know. Um, they've kind of had this group of players since they won the four trophies um, when they were in the County Premier League, albeit a few minor changes, they've got a really good core of players. Obviously the coaching team of um, Gary, Anthony Sullivan, Mikey Richards, Stevie Richards, um, they've got a great ethos within the club and, you know, they want to play football the right way. Um, and, 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 you know, it's led to some great success. Obviously, we had a, a pretty good season last season, the first season in the Northwest Counties. And when I got involved, um, just before that, to try and help them with getting into Northwest Counties, and you could see that they were set up right, you know. What are the realistic aims for the club in the future? I think the realistic aim for the club would be Bet Victor, really, you know. Um, it would be to go into the Premier League and um, to consolidate the position, um, have, have a really good first season. You know, um, maybe sign a few more players relevant to that level, playing at that level. Obviously, the venue that we're at is a shared venue. It's a community venue, and it will need some expansion. We're in the process of applying for uh, football stadium improvement funding. It has to go through the football foundation because it's a football foundation funded v- venue. Um, we've had initial meetings with them. That all looks favourable. The Liverpool County FA are on our side, so it's just a matter of tying down that funding and getting us up to level five. Um, you know, which there's a lot of work involved, but I think it is a realistic aim. Lower Breck picks up a 4-1 victory here against Hulk Oil Boys to remain top of the league and look on course for promotion this year. Next up though, they have Ashton Town away on Tuesday and then Pilkington next weekend who they've already lost to twice this season. Tough games incoming. There are very few better ways to spend your Saturday afternoon than going to watch your local football club, whatever that may be. The holy trinity of scintillating football, refreshing pints and delicious pies makes it the perfect day for any football fan. If you're a Premier League fan who's never been to a non-league game, we urge you to find out your local team and get down there to support them. You will not regret it. Uh, and final question, just do you think you, you'll win the league this year? I'll d- yeah, I definitely think they'll win the league this year. Yeah. You know. But for us, the Evo stick is, is, is the priority. It's something that, you know, is the next stage and the next challenge. Set yourselves a, a, you know, a decent challenge and if we get to the Evo stick with this club, it'd be a fantastic achievement. All right, nice one. Cheers, mate. Thank you.